Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for this video, I am going to be styling my hair vintage style using only vintage products. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I have is this Kenmore hair dryer from the 1950s. It is an electric hair dryer with removable stand for the whole family. This is what it looks like on all sides. Here's the other side the other side and let's go ahead and see the inside. So here is what the hair dryer looks like. It is a gorgeous pastel pink with a lemon yellow handle. It is quite heavy, it's made out of metal. Here is the other side and the cord. So I'm gonna be using this to dry my curls. The next thing I have are these really cool bobby pins. These are from the 1950s. Uh, it is a Scoldy Locks Lasting Grip Bobby Pins. Never let your hair down, so it advertises. <laughs> um, and here is the back side. And lastly, I have this at-home permanent kit. It is called the Uncurly Permanent by Tony. Now, we're not gonna be perming my hair today with 70-year-old perm solution, but what I'm gonna be using from this kit is actually the curlers that come inside, which look like this. They come in pastel colors. And as well, the hair tip on how to style your hair. So that's gonna come in mega handy for today. So here's a pamphlet that I found inside of that kit. And it shows you three different ways on how to set your curls. It has the roller method, the pin curl method. Um, it shows you exactly how to wind your hair. Um, it shows you how to sculpt your curls. And at the very end, it shows you how to brush them out. So we're gonna be following this little tutorial that's inside here. The curling method I'm gonna use is the pin curl method. And I believe I do have enough bobby pins from the 50s to do so. So that's what I'm gonna do. And uh, let's go ahead and read the instructions that it says here. It says, now an easy new way to make pin curls without those fish hook ends. First, wet hair thoroughly. So. I'm gonna go ahead and set this aside. I got my little water bottle. So it says to really wet your hair, so I'm gonna go ham on it. Whoa! Okay, I've never used one of those fancy bottles until now. So the next step is to comb smooth against head. So I gotta comb my hair smoothly against my scalp. Okay. All right, now that my hair is slick, let's go ahead and see the next step. So it says, part off as much hair as you want for a pin curl. The larger the strand, the looser the curl. Easy enough, all right. Okay, so I'm gonna use about like this thick. This should be good. And it says to hold strand slightly up and out. Comb smooth. I did that. Keep it smooth and wet. That's what she said. <coughs> okay, so it says press left finger firmly against your scalp. Like this. Draw strand forward with comb. Forward with comb and stretching it into a pointed end. So I'm gonna assume they mean like the photograph, which looks like this. Wait, yeah, looks like this. Remove finger from scalp. Use both hands to roll pointed ends into a small circle. <sighs> okay. I don't think this is the most practical way to do it, but let's do it. What do I know? Okay. I'm rolling, I'm rolling. Ooh, I literally just put 70 year old bobby pins in my mouth. Was that the best idea? Probably not. Here we go. Hey, that looks pretty good. Is it just me or is, is this a look? <laughs> there's just, there's a very like, Greek goddess vibe going on right now, like. Bring me my wine and grapes. 
Fade it to me. Poseidon, what's up? Did, did I just bring a look back? Are we bringing this back? Can we bring this back? Because this is actually kind of cute. I'm like feeling myself. I feel very ethereal. So we are finally done. Surprisingly, I have so many bobby pins left like i don't know why i did that but i did but like look how much i have left that's amazing it only took one bobby pin per curl and nowadays bobby pins i need like maybe like three per curl because they're so weak can we like bring this back um i didn't use the tony uh curlers the one in the sim like the hair permanent pack honestly because it just didn't stick i think that's strictly just for um, to do a permanent thing, not necessarily to use it for styling because it just kept unwinding and no matter like how tight I did it. So we didn't end up using that, but we are using the Tony's instructions. So we're technically still using the product. So in the instructions, it says that you have to wait for your hair to dry and then you just brush it out. Now, typically you would do that overnight, like just do this and then go to sleep and then wake up the next day and brush it out. But my grandma gave me a really cool tip I really want to do this all in one sitting and she said that back in the day when she had to get ready for something and her hair was not prepared she would do the same exact thing and then she would blow dry it then she would add hairspray before you took them out and then just brush it like normal she said the results were pretty similar so that is what we're gonna do and it'll give us the opportunity to use this awesome hair dryer from the 50s um, so here is the hot and cold setting. I'm going to put it on hot and I'm going to turn it on. That's, I haven't even turned this on since I bought it because I really want the surprise to like be while I was filming and I'm impressed. It's super hot. Like definitely I would say, yeah, I would say it's as hot as a modern blow dryer. Maybe a little bit less hot, but still really hot. Um, and I love how quiet this is. That's amazing. Like, you don't see hair hair dryers nowadays this quiet. Usually they're just like, and you're like, just, it's a lot. It's a lot. We need to bring this back. We need to bring this, this design back. So let's go ahead and blow dry the hair. The air coming out of it smells a little bit vintage, but that's okay. Um, I hope it doesn't make my hair smell like that. <laughs> uh, but she said she would just put it over the curls and just waited for her hair to dry. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, so it is time to start taking them out. Let me start from the top and work my way to the back. Oh, oh, oh. It's still wet on the inside, really? What do I do? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna roll this back up and I'm going to dry it a little bit more. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I got a hand cramp. <laughs> mm. Moment of truth. looks like being taken out oh my god <laughs> i'm glad that i wound them so tight wound them is that a word wound them wound them wound them hey english what happened to it i don't know i'm glad i wound them tight enough because it gave these like cute little um now the top didn't really dry enough you can see here it's still kind of scraggly and wet so I think this is something that you just have to do overnight. Um, but honestly, I'm not mad about it. I think it's cute, I think it's cute. So let's go ahead and see what the next steps are. 
Um, it says that you have to remove the rollers and clips. I did that. Now brush, brush, brush your hair back from your face, then down. Repeat till all separations are blended. All right, so we're just gonna brush it out. And it says brush your hair from underneath with the rolling motion of the wrist. Okay. Ow. <laughs> yeah. We are, uh, okay. So I brushed all of it out and I actually really like the way it turned out even though it didn't dry on top and it's still a little bit damp. I think that worked in my favor because now it's like, you know, flat and it kind of leads into like this really nice poofy bottom. Um, and I know it's not 1950s style because, you know, in the 1950s they primarily had short hair, but it can be 1940 style if I put it behind my ear and kind of, you know, do that to it, or I could even do that to it. And if I want the 80s, I just gotta do that. <laughs> I like it. I'm not mad about it. So to make my hair look more 1950s, I'm gonna probably start off with like a faux Audrey bang. And by, to do that, all you have to do is grab all of your bang area and tuck it like so, and then you're gonna pin it like that. I think I'm gonna leave it like this because I like it. Um, I love this look. Oh my God, I'm gonna do this more. I'm totally gonna do this more. <laughs> um, but yeah, we are done. We have played with some awesome 1950s tools and got a pretty decent result. Um, so I'm pretty happy with this video. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe also <laughs> for more vintage content like this. Make sure you have the notification bell on. That way you guys know exactly when I post. And I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys in my next video.